Welcome back to Airborne Productions. Harbor Freight makes a pretty good little greenhouse. We've done a lot of work to make ours run a hydroponic setup. Let's check it out. So there are many benefits to having a hydroponic setup. It's really clean and organized, and it's also clean on the inside. When you run hydroponics, it really protects your plants and roots from getting all rotted out because the water is continuously running through it. A lot of times with a traditional setup, your roots will collect water and the water won't drain out like it should. That will cause your plants to rot and die. Using hydroponics completely remedies that problem. Harbor Freight carries a few different models, but this one in particular is 10 feet wide by 12 feet long. The greenhouse comes with a steel base for mounting, but it's not really that sturdy. So we decided to pour a little curb of concrete and bolt the aluminum straight to the concrete. That way this thing doesn't blow away at all. There's one more little stability issue that's common with these greenhouses. That's these panels. They often unclip. These panels can blow away with a good gust. So we put simple little number 10 tech screw in each panel and that's fine. The construction of this thing is pretty basic. You get your frame all set up, and from there, you put your panels on. Pretty straightforward. Four roof vents are included, but we added these attachments that open and close based on the temperature outside. Right now, they are mostly open, but as it cools off at night, these will close up to slightly regulate the temperature inside the greenhouse. We used some simple rock from Home Depot for the flooring. For shelving, we took center blocks, stacked three of them up, and used some lumber to make a little platform. We did this around the perimeter, and we did one in the middle. For the hydroponics, we simply used some perlite in the middle, which goes all the way down the bucket. We have a line in each bucket that pumps water in. We have this line out, the rubber seal that flows water out, connected to each one. So when you do this, this is pretty high up, the highest point of this PVC pipe, so the water will flow all the way down. Then the lowest point of this PVC pipe is over here. That way all the water flows completely through and dumps back into this tank. We have a float in the rear for water regulation, as well as a pump right here, which goes up into each line for each bucket. The pump is electronically controlled using the simple electronic timer. Every 15 minutes, the water will run for 60 seconds, and then it repeats. And we are feeding our plants these organic nutrients. We mocked up some misters and we will utilize a timer. Each plant we have is organic. We have blueberries, Ozark Beauty strawberry, Sequoia strawberries, Super Sweet 100 tomatoes, Husky Cherry Red tomatoes, Juliet tomatoes, Roma tomatoes, Red Beefsteak tomatoes, Eggplant, Japanese cucumber, Burpless cucumber, Cucumber variety, Crookneck squash, Zucchini squash, Purple bell pepper, Green bell pepper, Orange bell pepper, Yellow bell pepper, Red bell pepper, Lastly, Sweet pepper. The Harbor Freight Greenhouse, or any greenhouse for that matter, can be done very simply, but the hydroponic setup does have quite a few benefits. We could have simply propped up the greenhouse and buried plants in the ground, but our add-ons certainly enhance our ability to grow fruits and veggies. We will make an update video when harvest season comes around. Thanks for watching.